Well, let's uh, do the burner now. So right now he's working with this uh, Riello burner, Serie 40. Uh, the cover is silver. Why? I don't know. Maybe because it's a commercial type of stuff? No. Okay, so I got to get this screw here. All right, it's a Phillips screw. <clears throat> this will hold the whole house in. And uh, this uh, pen, this slide right in, okay. Let's say this is the whole assembly off over here. But as you see there, now there's a fillet screw. You got to remove just to extract the nozzle as line off. Get this thing loose, right? And uh, you move it back and forth a little bit. Sometimes it kind of gets stuck because the heat, there you go. So now you got, you're ready to check to take the nozzle out. That's the whole, this is the whole nozzle line with the adapter there. Okay, and I believe this is 11060W. Yeah, okay, so, get my wrenches. I ate there, put a little pressure on the floor so I could get loose. And then took the rest by hand. Take it out. There you go. So look inside, make sure there's you know your drain. You gotta make sure you got a like an oil pan so you know you can spill oil all over the floor. So something you could catch the oil. So you wipe it down. Clean it, look inside, make sure there's no oil. And you get the place off. Place off the reaser help you remove any particle or anything. Make it clean and better. Alright, so it's look good over here. Out. It's not so there, 1060 W. This particular, they, they put this on all W, so I'm gonna go with the same thing. This front and five, I leave it alone. Then it seems to be, this unit seems to be running fine. So. <laughs> I believe this unit called for 80, but uh, somebody already set up for 60, so that's the way it's going to stay. So you make sure your nuts is nice and tight. You don't want no leak. So, yep. <coughs> Stuff in here. What it's calling me now? Got to be wink H back again. No. Okay. I got. I don't know. All right. So now, again, you got see all the stuff, the carbon stuff, all built up. So you got to get the stuff out of it. So for that, I used the place off. Spray. Then wipe it down with a rag or something. I usually got a little brush. I don't have it with me. So I get a rag, clean it up. Nice. Clean the electro. Why you use glove? You gotta use glove, man. You don't want that oil sticking in your hand. So over the years, uh, I know people they're uh, real bad. The oil went, the oil went uh, to the skin, and uh, they don't look pretty good, man. And they never wear these people never wear all uh, gloves, and now they're having problem with their fingers. Uh, so make sure every time you walk with this stuff, you uh, you use gloves. Okay, so I'm cleaning out this nice rack and everything. 
Now watch the way I do this. See, it's a little hole there, pain. Go straight down. And you line them up with a set screw there, right? And then you get your Phillips screwdriver and you tighten the bolt down. There you go. So that way, you know, put it unique setup. That way, you know, uh, you put it back, slide it right in. It's a little uh, guide screw that you use. It's got a set inside there, and then you put the, you felt your regular fully screwdriver there. Move around till you get it in place, and then slide right in. There you go. I got it. There you go. Nice and tight. Now you get the nozzle line. Put that thing back on too. That way you don't forget. Last thing you want to know is run the stain and then find out you got oil everywhere because you forgot to put the nozzle. So do it now. Get it over with it. Nice and tight, boom. So good. Get the big wrench. Uh, this is metric. I don't have the. There you go. Just a little. Now we put the cover. The cover. Clean on the cat cell. Wipe it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Does now when you put this thing back, you gotta make sure that they line up nice square with the frame. See, see the electro, the electro, these two electro over here, they gotta go right inside here. So it's little two holes there. You gotta make sure go inside there because if you don't pay attention, you could go, you you miss the the hole there. Uh, and make sure it's flush with the with the frame. Cause those electro they they, they got a spring now, they will move with the box in and out. So 